two small Sicilian islands, Lampedusa and Fabignana, are testing energy microgrids based on renewables and blockchain technology. Vincenzo lives in Fabignana. His company is involved in an innovative project that he's trialing at home. He's not only a consumer, but also a producer of energy, thanks to Blorin, a secure system for transferring data between users without intermediaries, a blockchain-like system used for cryptocurrencies. But how does it work? I'm part of the blockchain. The energy that I can produce using photovoltaic panels that I don't consume, I can sell on the grid and I can give to my neighbor or to someone who belongs to the same blockchain. The more of us there are, the more we save. These small Italian islands, like Favignana, are micro-laboratories for the Blorin model of producing, sharing and selling solar energy. Fifteen private individuals are testing this model, which was designed in 2017. It was here in Palermo that a team of researchers began developing this project. Eleonora Riva shows us the prototype from which they developed their electricity meter. Like blockchain, the model guarantees instant transparency in the process. So this is uh, an EMS Blorin. It is a system to manage energy. It either measures the power that flows in the house or the electrical power that flows out of the house. And this measurement is then transmitted to the blockchain platform for registering and certification. The total budget for Blorin is almost 2 million euros, of which 86.69% has been provided by the EU's cohesion policy and the remaining 13.31% by the four energy companies associated with the project. ICT is one of the key elements of Blorin. Thanks to an app, users know in real time how much energy is being produced and how much the network needs. But sometimes it's the grid that needs their help. In some cases, uh, uh, the energy should not flow from the network to the car, but the other way. And uh, in such cases, uh, very short in time, and uh, it is something extremely new. So we need the bidirectional charging stations. Also known as the butterfly on the sea, Favignana, like Lampedusa, is spreading its wings towards green energy self-sufficiency.